Brace yourselves, people. Week 13 out of the NFL is in the books. This rivalry is growing, and <laughs> I never thought I'd say it's one-sided. But right now, Cincinnati has their number... At least it's been jam-packed with theatrics. And the performance from the TPS fans this week was no exception. Of course, they got an assist from Mr. Brady on Monday Night Football when he pulled a rabbit out of a hat by stealing a win right out from under the New Orleans Saints, despite the Bucks seeming pretty lifeless on offense all night long. That put the fans at 10-4-1 for the week, thus putting the fans and experts in a dead tie, which, after a ruling from the TPS Picks Challenger Commissioner, means that a prize is going out this week. Just one prize, because our lock of the week crushed and y'all missed on the dog of the week pick, but TPS bucks are nonetheless going to be dispersed to one lucky winner. And that would be... Be Nelly Neely 8468, who had a heck of a prediction that the Bengals would knock off the Chiefs by a final score of 27 to 24. As for the rest of you, there is always next week. So just remember to enter and make sure that you, number one, are subscribed to our channel. Number two, like this video. And number three, comment below with one exact score prediction for this week's games and why you chose it. We are begging you guys to beat us. All we want to do is give away some TPS bucks. So, hey, get those predictions in, subscribe, share, smash that like button, and make it happen. Now, without further ado, let's get into these games and some bold predictions of our own. Las Vegas Raiders at Los Angeles Rams Las Vegas is fresh off a plain spoiler against the division rival Los Angeles Chargers. The fans expect the Raiders to keep their winning ways on the second leg of their LA tour against the Rams, but our experts have their doubts. The Rams have certainly looked horrible this year, you know, just about every single week they play, but now that their season is over and they're looking to shelve some of their injury-riddled vets a la Matt Stafford, there is certainly reason to believe that things could get worse. But even in the cellar of the NFC West and nearly the entire NFL, the Rams team still has one of the best coaches in the league in Sean McVay, not to mention plenty of star talent on both sides of the ball. And here's the kicker. The Rams are without their first round pick next year anyway, so it's unlikely ownership would send down any full-on tanking orders. All that said, the Rams have too much pride to fold completely, and the Raiders simply are not that good. Final prediction, Rams 20, Raiders 14. Minnesota Vikings at Detroit Lions. It's another exciting bout to NFC North football. The fans like the Vikings, who narrowly escaped a loss against the Jets last week, but the Lions have quietly turned their season around in a big way. Detroit won four of its last five, and its lone loss came on Thanksgiving against the Bills in a close one against a very serious Super Bowl contender. Minnesota, to its credit, has continually found ways to win close games this season, but its luck runs out in the Motor City this week. Lions 36, Vikings 33. Baltimore Ravens at Pittsburgh Steelers. Dog of the week. It has quickly become the perfect time of year for AFC North football, and this week's showdown between the Ravens and Steelers will epitomize that. The Ravens are likely entering the Steel City without former league MVP Lamar Jackson. But that isn't scaring off the TPSers, as around 83% of the fans like Baltimore in this one. Pittsburgh has been playing some damn solid football as of late, though, largely thanks to the turn of TJ Watt, who is a next level difference maker on the defensive side of the ball. And and Kenny Pickett is really starting to develop. Pittsburgh wins ugly, wrecking the dog of the week by a final score of 14 to 6. Cleveland Browns at Cincinnati Bengals. The Cleveland Browns are off to Cincinnati to face a Bengals team that had a huge win last week against the Kansas City Chiefs. Both the TPS fans and experts think that Burrow and the gang are able to avoid a letdown spot against a Browns team that won last week against Houston, but didn't look overly impressive doing so. Deshaun Watson looked plenty rusty, and after watching the way in which Cincinnati's defense created problems for Patrick Mahomes, intuition suggests that this one could get ugly. Final prediction, Bengals 28, Browns 13. New York Jets at Buffalo Bills. The Jets are coming off a heartbreaker in Minnesota, and now are faced with what's arguably an even tougher task, trying to get their second win of the season against the Bills, this time in Buffalo. The fans and experts have reached another consensus here, that the Bills should be able to take care of business at home. New York has been impressive all season long, and with the way that Mike White rallied that offense last week against Minnesota, there is no denying that the Jets' offense is in a way better position than it was during the first matchup between these two teams. But while the Jets are a nice story, the Bills are an extremely serious Super Bowl contender, and they have Josh Allen under center, which makes them very hard to beat. The Jets will keep it close, but Buffalo will prove to be too much to handle 
handle and pull away, winning this one by a final score of 27 to 17. Houston Texans and Dallas Cowboys. This week, the Houston Texans are going to have all that they can handle and more against their in-state rivals, the Dallas Cowboys. 91% of y'all like Dallas in this one, and yeah, our team agrees. These two teams are on completely opposite ends of the spectrum this season. Dallas is starting to really look like a Super Bowl favorite. Meanwhile, Houston just lost to a quarterback that hasn't touched a football field in two years. Expect a continuation of the bulldozer-esque performance that the Cowboys put on in Indy last week. The Cowboys win this one easily 30-10. Philadelphia Eagles and New York Giants. Philadelphia is headed to the Meadowlands with its 11-1 record in hand for an NFC East showdown with the Giants. I suppose that considering these two teams are trending in opposite directions, it shouldn't come as a huge surprise that we have another consensus pick. And yeah, it's Philly. Jalen Hurts has really elevated his game this season, especially as of late, and he's looking like a serious MVP candidate. His Eagles have been the best team in the NFL all season long, and there's no reason to think that it should stop this week. Conversely, New York got off to a great start, especially considering how mediocre its roster was heading into the season, but the Giants have sputtered as of late. Dable will coach up the G-Men and find a way to keep it close, but Philly wins this one on the road by a final score of 24 to 20. Jacksonville Jaguars at Tennessee Titans. After getting throttled by Philly last week, the Titans have a good chance to bounce back at home this week, as they're hosting the lowly Jacksonville Jaguars. Though the AFC South teams always seem to play weird games in division, both the fans and experts think this one goes chalk and Tennessee takes care of business. Trevor Lawrence is looking like a pumpkin again, and this one has all the makings of an ugly but effective Titans win, in which they bleed the Jaguars to death with an onslaught of physical running and in-your-face defense. Our final prediction, Titans win this one by a final score of 23-16. to 16. Kansas City Chiefs at Denver Broncos. Lock of the week. The Chiefs are heading to Mile High, and man does this one look like it'll be a blowout. So much so that we unsurprisingly have another consensus pick, as a massive 93% of the fan vote went to KC. Denver's offense has been a complete embarrassment this season. And though its defense has fought hard all year long, it shouldn't take long for their spirits to break against Patrick Mahomes and an explosive Chiefs team that will be looking for an opportunity to dominate. You know, after dropping a game to the Bengals last week. It goes from bad to worse to somehow even worse for Russell Wilson and a Denver team that looks like it has bought him out multiple times this year. Chiefs 24, Broncos 6. Carolina Panthers at Seattle Seahawks. Panthers at Seahawks. Sam Darnold is getting his second start of the year as Carolina tries to make sense of its roster and what has been a lost season. To his credit, Sam did deliver a win in his lone start, albeit against a lowly Broncos team, but he protected the ball and got the job done against one of the top defensive units in the game. The TPS fans aren't buying it, though. Nearly 90% of y'all think Geno Smith keeps the good times rolling in the Pacific Northwest. And frankly, at this point of the season, he has to if Seattle wants to make a run at the NFC West crown. Though the Seahawks have been a great story, our experts don't think they have the chops to keep the necessary level of play under the elevated pressure. Carolina steals a win, 21-20, ultimately hurting both franchises as it will put a dagger in the Panthers' hopes of getting the first pick in the draft. Tampa Bay Buccaneers at San Francisco 49ers. After a crucial win against the Saints, Tampa Bay heads to San Francisco to face Kyle Shanahan's 49ers. While this is a matchup between two division leaders, these two teams appear to have drastically different ceilings. The fans are going with the Niners this week, and yeah, I can't blame them. Even without Jimmy G, that team is really firing on both sides of the ball. The addition of Christian McCaffrey looks like more of a home run decision with each passing week. The TPS experts, however, have seen such an overload of heroics from Tom Brady over the years, not to mention this past week, and that Bucks defense should be able to give Mr. Irrelevant Brock Purdy enough trouble to keep this one close. Tampa Bay gets it done, snagging its most impressive win of the year by a long shot, 17-13 over San Francisco. Miami Dolphins at Los Angeles Chargers Fresh off a gutting loss to the San Francisco 49ers, the Miami Dolphins are set to head to Los Angeles, where they will face off against the Chargers. Miami is not alone in needing a win here. In fact, Los Angeles might need one even more. The Chargers were upended by the Raiders in a loss that might have cost them a chance at the postseason. Apparently, most of y'all were watching that stinker, because the TPSers voted on taking the fins. But to us, this one has all the makings of a false hope Chargers performance. They are going to rally to win in an absolute must-win situation, get themselves to the brink of qualifying for the playoffs, then they'll lose to a far inferior team. Either way, it should be exciting with Tua and Justin 
and Herbert under center for their respective teams. Chargers win this one by a narrow margin, 31 to 28. New England Patriots at Arizona Cardinals. New England is heading to Arizona, square off with a reeling Cardinals team. And it's just gone from bad to worse for Arizona this season, pretty much with each passing week. So, I mean, it doesn't come as a huge surprise that the world is backing New England in this one. After all, the Pats, for all their inconsistencies this season, are still in the thick of the wildcard race, and the Cardinals seem like a great get-right opportunity for Belichick's club. You know, after getting throttled by the right Bills last Thursday night. Our experts, however, think that the Cardinals, for all their flaws, have enough pride to show up and fight for their dignity on their home field, especially coming off their bye. And if pride weren't reason enough, Cliff Kingsbury is very much coaching for his job at this point. Look for the Cardinals to get out to a hot start, and though New England ekes its way back in, its offensive inconsistencies prevent them from getting over the hump. Final prediction, Arizona 23, New England 17. That's another week of picks in the books. Who's got the better read on how things will turn out in week 14? Well, we'll find out soon enough. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Then, add your own prediction down below for a chance to win some awesome prizes. And be sure to vote on next week's games right now in our community section. Then, tune in next week to see if you won.